Hey everybody, it's Jasmine. So today I'm finally bringing you guys my review and lash try on video for all 12 of the brand new Shop Miss A 3D Foam Mink Lashes. This is a part of their Paw Paw charity line. So these are going to retail you for $1.55. The 55 cents does get donated to charity, which I think is absolutely amazing. I'm going to start off the video with the lash try on. And for this portion, I decided to go in alphabetical order simply because all of the names for these lashes are actual names for people. So I started off with Brianna and then I'm going to end with Yoni. So I hope you guys enjoy the try on.
probably thinking, Jasmine, your eyelids are probably crying. And they are, they kind of burn, but whatever. That's just me trying out these lashes for, you know, two hours. <laughs> Besides all that, like my other lash try-on videos, I'm going to tell you guys which ones were the ones I really liked, which ones I don't really recommend, I'll give you guys my reasons, and I hope this really helps you guys out. So the eyelashes that I am wearing right now are Brianna, which was the first pair of lashes that I really, really enjoyed. So Brianna is something that I highly recommend. The next one that I really love is Vanessa. These ones are very similar to Brianna, but they're a little bit more wispy and they have like that double layer kind of like Luella from the original AOA lash line. So if you're really into Luella or if you're interested in Brianna or Brianna is sold out, then you'll probably like this one it's just a little bit more va va voom Jackie is so so pretty it's a little bit more of like a natural lash in my opinion but with this look that I have here Jackie looked absolutely amazing and I was really into it so I'm really happy that this one worked out and it's something that has a little bit of flair to it the inner corner is a little long but it looks good and it's something that I feel like anybody who has small eyelids or has a monolid or some type of eyelid similar to my shape, then I feel like it's something that's very flattering and very flirty. Gaia is actually an eyelash that I really didn't think I would like, particularly because it's pretty dense and it just looks like an eyelash that has the same length in the inner corner as well as the outer corner. And typically with those eyelashes, I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm going to like it. Plus, there's no type of wispiness to it. I mean, they all have wispy factors to the lashes, but I felt like this one lacked it the most. But to my surprise... It had so much depth and layers in it that it looked really good. And I think that this is actually one of my favorites. So I think I am going to wear it again for sure. It's really, really pretty. And finally, the last one that I really liked is Carlene. And it's another one kind of similar to um, Gaia where it, it's more so of like a straight eyelash. It's not really tapered as much, but it, there's so much depth to it that it looks really, really good and flattering on the eyes. Now, I'm not going to necessarily say that I hate these, but I have my reasons on why I don't really prefer it. Do I think I will still wear it? Absolutely. But do I think that I'm going to reach for as often as these ones? I don't think so. So the first one that I want to talk about is Sonia. And Sonia is an eyelash that is short in the inner corner, and then it gets long in the center, and then short again in the outer corner. And typically, when that's the case with eyelashes, it does not flatter my eyes. If you have a round eye shape and you like to do halo eyes then Sonia is probably the one for you but to me I like an eyelash that will start off kind of short and then flare out to be really long in the outer corner it personally just looks better on my eyes but this one it was okay um it, yeah it was just okay Tori is something that I had actually high hopes for because it looks really really dense and it looks really similar to I think what do these look like? These kind of look like Stella by Coco Lashes. And I was like, oh my god, these are probably going to look really, really good. But if I'm being honest, if you have bigger eyelids than I do, this will look way better on you because on me, it kind of just closes off my eyes. And it's too dense for me. But the length itself is beautiful. The actual style itself is beautiful. Um, it's just that my eye shape does not personally work with this as well as somebody else who has a bigger eyelid. Now, I didn't like Shelby in particular because of the band. This band on Shelby is thicker than the majority of the eyelashes. All of these ones do have a thick band, but I will talk about that later. But this one in particular, it was just like really stiff and it was really hard to use. So I was sadly disappointed by it and I just felt like I wasn't able to feel comfortable in it. Um, maybe I'll have to wear it a couple of times for it to conform to my eyes because as I always say, the first time wearing lashes isn't always going to be the most comfortable. So maybe I have to finesse these and wear them a little bit more. But for now, my opinion is that the band is too stiff and it's a little too hard to work with. Jean is a very pretty eyelash. I thought it looked really beautiful, but I do have to say this. I think that the eyelashes on both sides look completely different. I felt like the one that I had on my left side was spiky, was so full, and then the one that I had on my right side was 
fluffy and wispy and I just felt like they were just completely different and I feel like you guys saw that in the try on as well so I'm not sure if this one was just manufactured a little bit differently um, but this one was kind of a pass because it was really inconsistent and I know eyelashes are handmade or they have like slight differences between the two but this one was just a major difference and I couldn't get by it at all Elidia reminded me of another eyelash that I tried from their regular AOA line. Um, it was in the first try-on video I believe I had for their AOA lashes and I don't like lashes that look like this. So uh, you see those thick uh, clusters of hairs. I really don't think that looks good on me personally. I had a coworker who wore lashes that looked like this and they looked absolutely stunning on her. They looked so good but then whenever I try lashes that look like these it just never ends up working out because in a sense like she has bigger eyes and she has a bigger eyelid and she wore a lot of eyeliner and it just it overall just looked so much better on her than on me and honestly eyelashes are really particular with your eye shape so um if that's the case then you know i would i'd probably recommend her that but it just doesn't work for me now my two honorable mentions have to be the shorter ones <laughs> because i felt like I like them but I wasn't in love and that's how I always am with short lashes but those ones are the style Melissa and Yoni. Yoni was really really thick. It's actually thicker than Shelby with the lash band so it was a little bit more uncomfortable I have to say but it looked really good on the eyes and then as far as Melissa is concerned these ones look almost identical to the Gino & Co number 11s I believe or 66. I don't know I just know it's like a double digit that's like the same and again I'm not too fond of lashes that are short in the inner corner and the outer corner so this one was kind of like eh, I'm not sure if this one is really for me ever since I started my channel and even since middle school I've always used fake eyelashes and knowing me I've tried a lot of different brands and I've been an avid user of Coco Lashes for a very very long time and I do have to say that the lash bands on these are very comparable to Coco Lashes. They are very, I don't want to say very thick but they're not thin. They're just like medium thickness and they hold the lash in and it feels secure. It doesn't feel like you could just take it off and then all of a sudden it rips off. It feels really substantial and I do have to say that with these lashes in particular, I do feel like I can get a lot of wear throughout them. With the original AOA lashes, I feel like the longest I could wear them is 10 uses. But more often than not, towards like the 5th, 7th use is kind of when I'm like, okay, I think I might need to throw these out. But these ones, they feel like they're thicker quality and they're better quality at that. They're, there's just so much improvement from their other lashes. And honestly, I really prefer these one so if you want to spend your extra 55 cents to donate to charity definitely look into these ones because I like these ones way more I hope my last try on was helpful for you guys I hope you guys were able to find what you needed and if you want to see a video with me doing a full tutorial of how to apply lashes I have that video linked down below in the section of videos you might enjoy and I have um, that listed there um, if if you want to help support me then you could totally shop on my affiliate link that's also in the description box you don't have to if you don't want to but I will highly appreciate it so I hope you guys all enjoy thank you guys so much for being patient with me for you know trying to get my package in the mail and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye peace out Girl Scouts